six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that took 10 seconds, which is longer than I expected. Um, I would like to apologize for the previous stream, which sucked in a way that my streams are not supposed to suck. Um, but this stream I'm hoping to bring back to the correct level of suckitude. Um, and also, uh, once again, here is either Milkis Tremu or what a fur coat looks like in its embryonic stages. Okay, so the, the problem we were having earlier, and we did finally get some progress here, um, and and it is Pomodoro, we're going to skip the first one, we're probably going to skip the second one too, um, because we just started. And the problem I was having was how do I access files in the cloud, bring them back and forth between the cloud and my local machine, if that's even possible. Um, I don't know the answer to that, but I think we can do a better job of looking for that information and in not just whining like little girls, like I've been doing. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Let's first of all go ahead and do something like this, just to make sure everything is kosher. Or if you're not Jewish, um, everything is um, halal, I guess. And that's, that's kind of a different kind of Jewish. Known as, okay, I think maybe I screwed this up. So let's go ahead and do a, um, a full reset of the term. Okay, that should be, okay. And this time we're just going to do it as a regular one plus one. Um, let's go ahead and do the print option here. Although that already is kind of sucking. Okay. So now what we need to do is find um, functions that let us access the cloud. Which uh, I think, I mean, we could use some very basic ones. Like, for example... Um, Let's see what I want to do here. Shiny. Oh, wow, is that actually... Wow, that actually might be coronavirus data. Brilliant. I don't know if it is, though. And let's see if we can do it from over here. So we will use the cloud as a sort of our test bed. Um, but then let's just see if we can clear all the output. Um, evaluation, delete all output, then we're going to delete all input, so we're, we're good to go here. And so we're going to look for functions like directory, which should, in the cloud, give us a list of something. Oh, that tells us what directory we're in. Good. Now let's go over here and run the same command and see what happens. Oh, shiny. So it does know who we are. Okay. This is good. So now I guess we need... Um, okay, okay. So we do know where we are. Uh, I think we can do directory list now of the current directory, which should show us all the files we have in the cloud. Or you know, not show us all the files we have in the cloud. Um, list directory, no. All right. Well, let's see if we can do question marks in here and see how that, see if we can do something like question mark directory, question mark, and it'll tell us, or question star directory star, and if it'll tell us what functions it knows about. Very nice. It's a little bit ugly, but, um, but, I mean, it is directory stack, home directory, delete directory, create directory, directory name, directory queue, fucking list files in directory. Um, and maybe we can even do things like this. What does the directory command do? Tell us, Mr. Wolfram. Um... Apparently, it does a lot of crap. Let's see. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Um, okay. 
So now, there are other functions, <coughs> excuse me, that might be useful is they appear to have a whole bunch of cloud functions. Um, cloud put, cloud directory, cloud get. What does this do? Uh, let's find out. Okay, this is getting kind of obnoxious. Oh, that's not good. So, okay. Um, okay, that, oh, that might have all occurred because I briefly killed the, um, the SSHF, the mount connection, and it hadn't occurred to me until just now that I probably broke a lot of things doing that. So it's my bad, my bad. Okay. Um, okay, so sorry about that. Let's see if I can avoid doing something stupid. Probably not, but let's see. Let's take a look. Um, okay. Okay. So what I'm not really seeing here, this is still all in the cloud. Um, and I don't see a way to get it locally. I don't know if th there's a concept of, of local when you're running in a cloud. I mean, we could do something like um, this, but I get the feeling it's not going to show up on our machine. It's going to show up in the cloud. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, that's, and I'm going to guess we don't have a function called, no, we don't. Output. So, and I'm also guessing it's not going to allow us to do things like uh, run commands, which you can do to run commands in the shell in which um, in which Mathematica is running because of course uh, we're not really running inside of a failed yeah we're not gonna it's not gonna do that um, cloud get so is there a cloud evaluate expressions put I'm pretty sure cloud put will just put things somewhere in the cloud it's not gonna actually okay Cloud put, cloud object, writes a new expression to anonymous cloud object. Again, this is all going to be in the cloud. Um, and and I, yeah, I just don't think there is going to be um, cloud directory, cloud submit, cloud account data, cloud save, cloud export might be the closest thing we have. Exports to a new anonymous... Okay, so all of this is still happening inside the cloud. Um, there's nothing in here that will take the stuff in the cloud and bring it over locally. And, and the, the issue here, of course, is if you're in the cloud, you don't even know there is a local. Um, but if you're in Wolfram script, you do know there's a local. Um, let's see if there's a local thing that might help. Local submit, what does that do? Um, no. Now, um, just wow. Okay, so we have all this stuff in the cloud. We, we might actually be able to do something with this. This is not necessarily a terrible thing. Um, we could put stuff in the cloud and then redirect the browser to go look at stuff in the cloud. That's still very ugly compared to what I want to do. Uh, we could certainly print what's in the cloud locally, but the problem there is it all gets sort of printed together. It's not going to be, uh, you can't really choose your output file locally because, uh, because there's no function in, in Wolfram that really understands what you are doing 
that there is an actual locally. So actually this, uh, there should be a file now called output1.txt in our, in our directory structure. Um, or there shouldn't be one, one or the other. Okay, but I mean, the, p the point is it's not going to show up locally. So I did see something earlier um, while I was out, uh, not on stream, and was whining like a little girl, uh, that, that suggested there's a way to do this. Um, and unfortunately, I forgot where it was. Yada, yada, yada. Pull, put script from name examples. Yeah. yeah. And all of these are like one-line examples. None of them are giving us multi-line examples of... Maybe it's under documentation. Got to be careful now. This might actually be the... This is the documentation for the Wolfram language, not Wolfram script. That is a little bit different. Uh, and this we looked at, and it again... There's nothing in here about getting files from... Um, so this actually, like again, you could show the files, you can output stuff, but but ultimately uh, you have to run the script multiple times to get what you want. Um, and there's probably a way of hacking all this so you can get what you need, but I'm trying to see if there's an easier way to do this. Uh, so let's just sort of poke around the directions here. And see, this is great. This will output one image, but that's it. You don't get more than one image. Uh, you can't have multiple images and you can't decide inside of the file what your output's going to be, uh, which is pretty close to fucking useless. Um, principles, documentation, that's just, there's, th there is, it, it was somewhere and it was somewhere where I didn't expect to see it. It might have been right here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember now where I didn't expect to see it. This is... Now, one of the nice things here is uh, you can actually give it standard input, and it'll understand that in inside the cloud. But again, it's limited to one little chunk of it. Um, I also don't wish they wouldn't use these extremely diabetic-looking, diabetic, unfriendly-looking diabetic, unfriendly cookies here. But I can live with that. Um, Crypt and store a treasure map in the cloud. Um, yeah, so a lot of this cool stuff is here going to be in the cloud. Uh, let's do this. Copy Wolfram cloud files locally. I don't think there's going to be a way to do this. Oh! Well, I could be wrong. Um... Hmm. I think, though, this is not quite what we need. We need this and... Um, oh. Hello. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, cloud objects at cloud directory. Well. Um... Well, 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 let's see what this does. I still think it's not going to work because it, the, the, this, um, this script has no concept of what is being local, what is local. But hey, I also wonder if I can do this, just to do an early abort out of the, um, let's just see what this looks like. Uh, and hopefully this will early abort out of the, uh, the, the command, let's see. Call packet. Okay. That might have been a little bit too much for it, so let's just start with cloud directory and then exit. And I might need to just remove everything we have. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. Um but okay. So if I do directory, it will tell me what directory I'm in. And I bet you I could even list the objects in that directory if I want. Okay, now, now I'm not happy. Um, okay, so maybe I need to do this. Okay, 
Apparently you can't have an exit inside of it or, or it just gets really unhappy. So cloud directory, let's see what that does. That might be the exact same thing, but let's find out. Cloud object, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then I can do cloud objects at cloud directory. Uh, this means basically um, for every element of cloud directory, I'm going to map cloud objects into it, which means I should get a, a sort of a dump of what's in my cloud. Ooh, no, 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 no. Cloud object. Okay, so wait a minute. So I've got one cloud object here uh, with cloud directory. Um, okay, that's cool. Well, from that's kind of weird because it's different from what I what I get if I just do directory. But that's that maybe is tolerable. Okay, so why am I? Oh shit! Do I need print all? Am I being a dork? Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Print all means print every expression. Um, print just prints the last expression. Okay, so we have cloud object and we have this thing, which are different, by the way. But that's probably okay. But now the question is, how do I sort of tell this thing to spit this out locally? Okay. Yeah, and I get the feeling copy file is not going to do what I want. Oh. Local backup path type equals copy file. All right, well, all right. Um, and I just I just get the feeling this isn't going to work. Um, well, I guess we should do list files or something. I don't even know if that's really a function, but let's see what happens. Uh, that did not give what I wanted. All right. Um, so now can I look at the objects inside of this? I mean, that seems kind of a silly thing to do. Show me what's inside the cloud directory. Ooh, no. Cloud directory. Okay. Tell me a little bit about cloud directory then. Oh. No, wait, that should work. It's a f oh. It's a function, so it should work. Uh, information. Okay. All right, we're going to have to do a little bit more here. Um, Mathematica list files in directory. Uh, file names. And I think if you do it with that or anything, it'll, you'll just get the current directory. So let's get this bad boy. I just called something a bad boy. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Okay, and these are actually files I expected to see, because these are files I put there. Uh, what we need to do now is be able to copy the one of them to the local machine, but I get the feeling that's that's the hard sort of thing that can't happen. But let's try it. And we will pick magically. We'll go copy my staging. Well, actually, we shouldn't probably do that. Let's copy data dot. 2.m because I don't already have that. It won't overwrite anything. I mean, this is all safe to get, so it's not going to be terrible, but let's try to avoid doing anything that's sort of stupid. Okay, so copy file. Um, I think I literally just overwrote the answer. Yep, I did. Copy file. Okay. File name, local backup path. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try this, but it's not going to work. It's gonna, it's gonna try to copy the file um, from the cloud to the cloud. Um, failed. Yeah, but at least I know what files are in there now. Um, so print all. So technically, if I did a plot here, it would actually. 
I mean, this actually would. Uh, so we'll just do a simple plot here. X goes from 1 to 10. This might actually output uh, a PNG file. Ooh, shiny. That is not a PNG file. But let's see what it is. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, what happens if I do a show? I get the feeling even that's not going to really do what I want. Um, okay. All right. Well, I can always do an export that to... Um, Export. How does export work again? Second Pomodoro, but I'm skipping it because the first one was so early. Next time I will walk uh, around. So remind me how export works, Mr. Mathematica person. Again, this is very ugly because I have to rerun everything instead of just going line by line, but I don't think there's a there's an option to, to fix that. Um, yeah, that's not easy to understand at all. Um, let's do this. Let's go over here. Ask what export does. Uh, oh, okay. So that might that might actually be okay. So we want to just say export to temp plot temp lot PNG um, plot x squared uh, x goes from one to ten. And I get the funny thing is I think it's actually going to work, but it's not going to give me what I want. I don't. The failed might have been something else, but let's see. Uh, oh yeah, this is this is the fail. Okay. So now I bet you, if I look here, the temp plot will be actually part of my one of my files now because I just created it. There it is. Still can't see it. Um, okay. And if this is really all running in the cloud, which I get the feeling that it is, uh, this is not going to work. Uh, now, one option I could use is I could have, um, I could link my Wolfram kernel from my main machine, since this is a VM, or even install Mathematica here, but I'm trying to do this in such a way that other people can use uh, this as well. Um, so, obviously, if you don't have Mathematica, uh, linking the kernel is not going to help you. If you have Wolfram script right now, I'm only working with free stuff. Um, I excuse me. Um, I guess I could do this. I get the feeling this is not going to do at all what I want, but this might just print out something ugly. Oh no, it doesn't like that. Um, and I think because I need, oh, I have okay. Um, display, copy, can I do a print? No, that's just going to print the string. Uh, can I print the contents of template.png? I'm sure I can. I don't know what use it is to have it sort of spit it out on the command line. Um, copy file, template. Um, now, another thing I could do, I, I mean, eek. All right, let's try one more thing, and then I'm going to try something really bizarre, which is thinking for a moment. Wolfram script, copy cloud files to local. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be, oh. Oh, 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 here we go. Uh, okay, here we go. Yep, 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 beautiful, beautiful, aha! Um, so now this actually works because it it's just a one thing. Um, oh, but have it call cloud evaluate. No, that's the exact opposite if we don't have Mathematica installed. Um, cloud Evaluate. Oh.
The problem is this is only going to work if you, I think only works if you have Mathematica, but let's see. Um, all right, well, the only thing I don't need to do, I don't think I need to do Cloud Connect because I'm already in the cloud. Uh, and I say that as though it means something. But let's see what this does. I don't think you can Cloud Connect once you're already in the cloud. But let's just see what happens. Ooh. That was kind of interesting. Print all done. Local test plot. I don't think that's going to exist here. If it does, I'll be very... Also, we've once again broken VT100. That was fun. All right. Okay. And again, like I said, I don't think this is going to... I just don't see this coming down locally. Um, or you could have a second script that calls... Co but see, that's... Yeah, this is only going to work if you have Mathematica running uh, locally. Um, it also works... Okay, so minus O, minus F, minus... Ugh! The last line is a print, but it's only one freaking... Um that do not have a local v, uh, Wolfram kernel. Um, uh, solid point about blah, 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 blah. Unfortunately, this is only going to let you print one thing, and that is a pain in the freaking ass. Um, I could reply. I might, I might be logged in, actually. Um, so let's... But at least now we're getting close to what I am actually looking for. Um... So this is again going to say this is this might have been my question actually. Um, and they're asking, can I do this line by line? Because the cloud evaluations are all done in one shot, you cannot basically go one line at a time. Whoa. Um. Um, I get the feeling this is only going to, well, this doesn't, okay, well, this, yeah, if you're not in the cloud, I don't give a rat's ass, that's going to work. Um, okay. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to do something that I've done before and not liked doing. Because um, I really love Mathematica. Let's see if there's any other free and ideally open source um, non-Python uh, Mathematica clones out there. In other words, symbolic uh, manipulators. Uh, unfortunately, I get the feeling this is going to be an exercise in pain. Yep. Wow. GNU Octave. Oh, well, actually... Have I heard of Octave? Blah. Octave is a... MATLAB is not free. I've heard of Maxim, actually. Um, Maple is not free. Jupyter is actually a meta-platform, if I remember correctly. Sage is... Okay, so... I like I like GNU. I like GNU. So let's see. I, I probably do have Octave here. Shiny. Um Yeah. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to run a whole new language here. Um which might be okay. Which might because as great as Mathematica is, um, it's not open source, and that could be an issue. And I don't think I have a directory for Octave. I might. No, I don't. 
All right, so now let's together, by which I mean I'm going to do it and you're going to sit there, watch, be bored, look at an Octave tutorial. Um, and I'm kind of tempted to look for Octave. Nope, we're not going to do... Um, we're not going to look at YouTube. I hate videos. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Um, okay. Um, um, okay. So I'm not crazy about the hell this means. I mean, I guess it means zero to two pi with a hundred chunks in it. Um, well, that didn't work too well. So that this is this is clearly not going well. Um, so let's do this. It's possible I just messed something up, and that's what I'm hoping is the case. So x, okay. And then y is equal to sine of x. So this is already sort of bad because it's it's not automatically deciding what my um, okay. I'm kind of guessing the segmentation fault should not be occurring. It's my guess. Um, let me see if there's a better version of Octave we can get. I probably should have done yum info Octave to be actually, to be correct. Um, so let's just yum info Octave. Okay, now if I do install Octave, it should tell me Uh, whether or not I have the latest version. Although, it's possible also that I need some of the additional Octave packages, but I would think they would be installed automatically. So now let's see if... Um, let's see what happens. Um, well, apparently what's going to happen is uh, it's going to wait forever. Now, th in this case, um, the uh, even though the home directory is mounted on another machine, the other directories in this VM are not mounted on the other machine, so this should actually install it. it sh this is not going to be slow. This is shouldn't be slow. I mean, it is slow, but it shouldn't be slow. So that's... Um, I don't know where the hell all this crap is coming from, but okay. Hopefully it's all good stuff. And I just realized it hit return a couple of times, which means if it does find Octave, my return might be interpreted as a no. If it does find that I need an up update, an upgrade. Um. La, 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 la. So, if I can't get Octave working, I'm in, I'm in pretty bad shape here. Oh, here we go. Uh, installed in latest version. Okay, well... Let's just go crazy with it. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm, I'm good with that. Now, if the still crashes after this... Oh, because maybe I needed graphics for the plotting or image for the plotting or something, and this is very, very dangerous that we're installing a bunch of... Well, I think readline dev. Okay, so now... Okay. Let's boogie these three lines, and the third one should not crash the system. to stop. Okay, wow. And it tries to bring up something. Okay. Make one tiny little attempt to find the problem here. Octave, plot, segment... Oh, wow. Very, very high on the list. And... 
out. Someone should really keep an eye on these UV sellers. Um, no, 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 no. Um. Uh, let's see. GNU plot QT. Well, let's. Tell me about GNU plot Q. I don't think I have that installed, actually. Okay. Let's just do. I don't even know if I can install that. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, installed packages, GNU plot, not a problem. GNU plot common, GNU plot doc, GNU plot latex, minimal. Uh, I don't have a QT version going, so that's not good. Um, okay, so apparently in the Octave RC I can use. Um, ooh, shiny. Um, okay. Whoa. Oh, man. So this is sucking pretty bad already. So let's just screw, say to hell with Octave. Let's go to choice number uh, next one. Da, 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 if I haven't killed it somehow. Um... I might have actually killed this. Mine mightn't have I. All right. So I'm really, really, really bad about um, about keeping my windows open after I search for something. Oh, okay. Hang on. Nope. Still active. And this is the page that I should have opened earlier. Wait. MATLAB is not free. That's not even a... Mm, it's like a brief look at Scilab and Maxima. I get the feeling I've seen... Um... I don't think Jupiter does, but I think it does. Spider. Eh, let's take a look at all these bitches. MathCAD is not free. Sage Math, I've looked at it. It's horrible. Quantum Field Theory. Okay, good. Font Base, we won't even look at that. Um, a lot of these seem pretty limited. Um, okay, that some of these aren't even really, um, uh, let's see. Scilab. All right, let's take a look. Okay. What is Scilab? That's a good fucking question. Overview. <coughs> um, okay. And let's see, blah, 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 blah. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Um... Okay, demonstration macros, let's go straight to the, um... This is not looking too fun. Um... I need more, I need... First, I need plotting. That's what I want. I like to plot against things. Um... Okay.
it's not too bad actually. Um, let me see if I can even get Scilab installed or if I already have it installed. And let's see if I can, if I can't get it from Yum, I, ooh. Um, no. Okay, so Scilab we might install later, but because it's not available immediately from um, Yum, we're going to defer it for a little bit. Maxima. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, shiny. Um... Pomodoro time. I'll be back in two and two, and we'll take a brief look at Math Maxima, which I expect it will suck. Okay, we're almost back. And we are back, and let's see how Maxima sucks. Let's see if it even works on um, my machine. Blah, 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 blah. It's a little bit on the old side. I mean, not for me, but... Um, okay, so it does use the mathematical format of using the percentage sign uh, to mean the previous input, which is good. Um, okay, that's, that's good so far. Good shit. Let's do, um... Uh, how about some plotting or something? Um, well, linear regression would be the other thing we're looking for, but let's... Plotting in Maxima. Already bad that it uses something external. I mean, not necessarily bad. Um... Wow, okay. All right, let's try this one. This looks like a sort of interesting thing to do. That's not too bad. Is that GNU plot? It is GNU plot. Oh, wow, I didn't know GNU plot would let you rotate stuff. That That is pretty damn cool, actually. There's got to be a way to... That was kind of sucky, um, but let's assume that's going to be, let's see what the lists look like. Can I create a list? Oh. 
Can I assign it to a variable? Yep. Can I plot the list? No. But can I plot the list like this? Okay. Can I do, what is it, line plot? Oh, there's no completion here. Not good. Okay. So what else can I do other than sort of contour plot? Um, okay. Wait. That's not literally the only thing I can do, right? I mean, contour plot. Contour plot. Plotting. Get GNU plot command. Plot. Um, implicit plot. Julia, that's very, it's very nice. Um, can I do a log plot? Plot 2D. Mm, okay, let's see what that does. Not having a line, um, plot 2D, A. Okay, can I do, I think I already tried this, didn't work. No, because this plot is on a known function. Um, okay. So, so far this is just learning new syntax. I'm not too worried about that. Um, this is all very nice. Now show me just how to plot a fucking list. Um, Plot 3D. Well, that's very nice. Line model. This is this is pretty impressive, uh, but it's not what I actually need. Um, oh, you can do log axes, which is nice. Um, Let me see if we can plot a list here. Um, and let's just do this. Maxima plot list. <coughs> um, okay, so that's that's a nice plot there. Um, let's see if we can keep okay, that's very, 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 very nice, as Borat might say. But now, okay, how about we just be a little bit nicer? We say lists in Maxima. Let's just see how it handles, um, how it handles lists. The building blocks of Maxima. Okay, well, that's really awesome then. Okay. So apparently it uses arrays for lists, so let's let's by all means do that. Yep, not having not having read lines gonna suck. Semicolon plot A. Plot two D of A. Okay, well, um, at least we have A. Wait, what? Wait. Do I do question mark A? Uh, how do I get the value of A back? I have assigned my value of A. Hmm. Show A? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, let, that's another thing we need to look at. Um, okay, so now we need to know a little bit better variables, but let's not worry about too much about that. Uh, list recreation, okay. List extractions, list manipulations, uh, assigning fucking list to variable. Advanced list options. Some guy. Okay. Um, okay. 
data types and structures. Um, this is all good shit if you if you need it. Um, but it's kind of annoying if you don't. So let's do this. Let's say um, variables in Maxima. Maybe we can get a little bit of a uh, or expressions, I guess. But okay, so da da da. We're running it. Um, okay. Yes, very nice. Let's look at. Let's skip right down to variables. Um, okay. Matrix, okay. Not what I need. Uh, let's say assign variables in Maxima. Um, all right, this looks like we are, we need, okay. Okay, um, not quite. Let's look at the word assign, maybe. Um, okay, so this is okay. This is how we've assigned something. That's fine. Um, oh, so do, should I have done like a set equal to one, two, three, four, five? Argument cannot be an atom. Wow. So I can do this, I guess. And that seems to like that, but now, how do I get my value of A back? Um, okay, so this is, this is all good stuff here, uh, but this may be not what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. So what if I do like A plus one? Is it gonna... No. Okay. Um, well, okay, mm, section six should have something about introduction to expressions. Uh, things you shouldn't use, that's fine. Um, okay. Oh, is it dollar sign that I need, to, that needs to end, um, I kind of feel like <sighs> man. Okay. Again, they're going like really, really crazy with um, maybe I should just go a little bit, little bit, a um, little bit simpler here. Um. Okay, uh, so it looks like they're ending their things with semicolons. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's a system variable. We value the previous statement. Um, um, oh. Okay, nope. Um, aha! The semicolon, okay. Um, info lists. Hey, now I'm getting back something. So am I not assigning? Is this like the correct way to assign something, I guess, maybe? Ooh. Aha! So it is the colon that does the assigning. Very nice. And what if I do... Is this not correct, then? Hmm, interesting. I don't think that has the same meaning, though. 
but at least now I know how to assign variables. Um, for hashed arrays, memoizing function, uh, rules. Um, okay. So if I can get maximum to do a regression, um, we might have a contender here. And if I can get Mathematica Maxima to plot lists. Plot a list. <sighs> so I'm guessing I cannot do plot 2D A. Yeah, that's not how we do plot. Can we do plot A? That doesn't really work either. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, so let's do this. Uh, I don't think I still don't think this will work because plot doesn't have a meaning. Um, so let's get uh, blah 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 blah. Contour plot. Okay, good. Um, plot list plot list list plot no. <sighs> Okay. Plot list of values. Aha. Discrete or parametric. This might this might have some good stuff in here. Discrete. Um can there be expressions? Um Can only depend on one variable. An expression to a plotted can always also be given in the discrete or parametric forms. Um, okay. So. Okay. So should I be able to do plot two D of or any of the forms um, hmm all right let's see some examples here so this is okay god damn it plot a list for once These guys are not... I guess we can call it an array to avoid... Um, yeah, let's call it that. Let's call it an array. Plot array. Just... Well, okay. Let's just see what this has to say about plotting an array. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Points A. Does that actually do anything? Um. Wait. It didn't do anything. I didn't scroll down or anything. No, terrible and badness has happened. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's go all the way to the top here. Points. Um, let's see what points does. Points. Um, oh, do I have to do like a draw in front of that? So is it going to be like draw points A? That is amazingly verbose for a fail. Okay. So points, 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 points. What can I do with the points? Okay, here we go. Draw TD, 2D. Okay. 
Oh, draw 2D. Oh, that's what I'm missing. Draw 2D. Points. Um, I think this is correct. Hey, there they are. The points. Not bad. Now, one question is, while I'm in the middle of drawing something, can I draw something else? I should, or this should not be a blocking draw. Oh, and it's not. I can get back here, and I can still do more stuff. Okay, now we're now we are getting somewhere. Uh, can I create a table? Let's see what question table tells me. Ooh. All right, Pomodoro time. Back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. Okay, no. Let's see. So now can I create a a list? Holy crap. Uh, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. Well, what does copy list do? Nope. Create list. Nice! So I could do x squared in x, where x is in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nice. Now I could do draw 2D points of that. Um, looks a little bit sparse because obviously I'm only drawing five points, but that does look correct. So now tell me what I can do with logarithms. That's not very nice. So what do you do? Oh, wow. So when you do question, question, you don't need to put a semicolon. Um, let's see what log x is about. Okay. So, draw. I'm going to need a frickin' read line option here before it kills me. Draw 2D. Points. Um. I probably should have gone with a log y. Let's try that instead. Um, it's not bad, actually. I mean, the scale looks kind of funky, but this is... Um, hmm. Do I mean log 10 plot? Maybe... Um, twenty four. Okay. 
Interesting. So we're working towards the possibility this will do what we want. Um, I guess now the question is how do we do regression analysis in Maxima? want. Take inference. Test mean. Um, test means difference. Well, let's just see regression. Oh, here we are. Simple linear regression. Um, I think this is what I want. Okay. PDF signed rank, da 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 da. Hmm. Again, this is, n oh, that's test normality. So simple regression looks like it's fine. Can I do log? I'm sure I can do log regression. Re no. Other kinds of regression. I mean, I can always take the logarithms and do the regression on that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, regression, regression. So do they have, I mean, you can always do log regression with uh, linear regression, so not a huge deal. And so I guess the next question is, if I'm going to go get out of this, if I can, um, if I can, oh, there we go, init, oh, hang on. If I can initialize this with some, well, yeah, initialize this with something and then sort of build it up as I go along, like I do with, um, like I do with Mathematica. Now, there probably is not a Maxima directory. We'll call this DC test one Mac. So this apparently is how you assign things. And the only thing I'm testing right now is whether or not I can load this in and then can keep going. So I would say like maxima. Why would I want to dis I want to enable read line support? Oh. Doesn't work. Maybe disable will enable it just by magic. Nope. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for. Directories, batch list, batch string, enable, help, user, to init. Um, it's not quite actually what I want. I don't necessarily want... Um, Init is a little bit different. I want to sort of say load and um, and then continue reading after load. Um, okay. So what if I just do... I get the feeling this is not going to do what I want. Oh. Okay, well, that's a little bit strange. Um, so if I'd normally done this, it would have assigned x a value. Yeah, did I put a semicolon here? Maybe I forgot that. Yeah, I did. Okay, so now let's see what happens if I do... Okay, so that did not, that did not load this file in. I uh, pretty much ignored that file. Okay, we're going to get this to... Um, we're going to get this to... Let's do practice in batch mode. Um, 
I'm gonna try the batch mode, but I kind of get the feeling that's gonna just that's gonna um, that's going to run it and then then stop running, which is not what I want. Uh, oh, preload. Maybe that's what I want. Okay. Well, let's try batch mode. Yep, that did exactly what I expected. It went, and it, um... Let's do preload. Okay, so that's, that is actually, when they say Lisp, they're very s specific about that. Uh, that's not what I want. I need... Uh, let's do this help message. The init file. Preload. So that's preload list. But when they, they really mean list, they don't mean um, any file at all. Verbose version. So I guess... Oh man, can I do this? So that does this. Now can I do this to mean, and then, c nope, doesn't want to continue with standard input. Um, so I guess, man, that's, that's ugly. Let's go ahead and do it really briefly, but I'm pretty sure I do not want to say init equals. Unless I can do it for more than one file, then it might not be so bad. Didn't do what I wanted. Okay. And I think maybe I need to give this a full path name. Okay, so that's not even doing that. Um, okay, well, maybe we can get some, some guidance from the billions of pages we have open right now. Maximum uh, preload file. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, wow. Oh, shiny. R maxima. Well, let's see if that's any better. Oh, cool. This one even has read line, so that's... That's very, very nice. Um, very, very nice. Let's see what the... Uh, um, batch lisp, batch string, directories, disable read line, which I don't want to do this case. Uh, init. All right, so let's go back to man maxima. Uh, da -da 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 -da. X maxima sounds cool, so I kind of want to try it now. Wait. Oh, come on, I don't have X maxima? Bullshit. Let's see what gives me X maxima. If anything. <coughs> Okay, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and read about uh, batch file, uh, da da da, batch lisp, enable init, okay, that's not quite what I want though, preload, li oh, that's a lisp file, we were very, very, very careful, cannot be a maxima file, process string, that's close, we want to actually process file in interactive mode. Um, server port, use version, verbose, very quiet. Um,
Now that is pretty fucking amazing if it works. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. Transport endpoint is not connected. That is inferior maxima run. Just wow. Um, Lisp is built into Maxima. Describe other documentation. Okay, so you can uh, do a batch my file and presumably you can do that from the command line. Um, okay, so let's try that. Um, whoa. Interesting. Now, why do I feel this is going to be a bad idea? Maxima GUI. I don't even really want it, but what the hell? You only live once. YOLO. Okay, now that's what I want. Rehash. This, I'm not calling this, like, terribly exciting. I mean... Um, I like the fact they call this the sort of, uh... Okay. Um, so does this, this does not have completion, unless it's done some other way. So let's go back to uh, R maximum, which might have had a completion, which would be really nice, actually. Um, okay. So is there like a, ooh, nice batch. Oh, it even has... No, not quite. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't quite have... Um, Ta-da! Okay, so you can do a batch load like that, and I'm guessing you can do a batch load like this. Um, so we don't want a batch process. We actually want to say, do it as the first thing before you go in. So, our maxima. Okay. So our maxima minus R, and the string would be batch. This looks a little bit weird, I agree, but, you know, whatever. Um... Okay, let's make sure that file actually existed. And it did. Oh, come on! You're supposed to read, interpret, and then continue. Um, let's go back over here. Minus R. Process string in interactive mode. So that's kind of, well. Let's just see what happens if we do something much simpler. Run our maxima. Yeah. This is well, I don't know who the hell William Shelter is. I thought he was the guy who played the dad on Patty Duke, but maybe that's somebody else. 
Okay, so that does not do what I want, although it's not too hard to do batch uh, every time you start. Disable read line directories, non-interactive mode. Um, so what if I do this? Minus minus init equals home user bc git maxima and then bc test one. Oh, that does work. Okay, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we're back. Okay, so let's go ahead and write this down because this looks like it's a pretty important. Okay. Uh, but this is the way to do it. And now. So I guess what we want to look at is list functions. Um, considerations, okay. So that assigns one. Now the question is, can I, ooh. Okay, that's actually a function indicator. Now can I do a, give a function that gives me, I mean, I should be able to, right? Um, so can I do f of x set equal to 1 over x squared? Okay. So f of 4, nice. f of 4.5, very nice. I mean, really, it should just be, oh, actually, hang on. Nice. Nice, nice baby. Okay, so this is all cool. And now, let's see. We have X is still this guy. Um, is there a function called take? No. Um, all right, can I say X of 3? Nice. Can I say x of 3, 5? No. Um, can I say x comma 3, 5? No. Um, is there a range command? Um, okay. Can I do this? No, does not seem like that is the list drawer. Um, I mean, I mean, 
mean, let's go ahead and put in some actual useful data here, quote unquote useful. Um, I think I called it COVID, right? Yeah. So let's do that. And then let's, um, see what that does. Okay. And okay, and the last number here was okay, yeah, this is actually pretty accurate. Okay, good deal. Um and now let's uh do a uh, plot of okay. Got to be careful here. Can I plot? I don't think this is going to work because plots is no. Can I plot? I also think this isn't going to work either because this is nah. Okay, so draw. Okay, so points, deaths, draw. Draw 2D points, deaths. Okay, nice. And now, can I do uh, x log equals true? No, y log equals true. Aha! Uh -huh. So tell me all about everything you know about draw 2D. Option. Oh, the option comes first? Hmm. So that's not great. Um. So, so now can I say log deaths equals to log of deaths? Um, no. Is there such a thing as a log of four? Okay, now the question is, are there, whoa, so log is a function. Log 10 of four. Log 10 of 4 point. So we're not getting quite what I want. What does log give us? Um, logarithm function? Log a? Here we go. Um, Now, one problem we're having here, of course, is that we can make this a little bit bigger, but that our um, help is sort of flowing off the edge of the screen here. Uh, tell me about these functions. All product. So why is this? Oh, that looks better than what I had before. Um, Oh, haha. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. Let's take do. Nope, that's what I want. Um, so I guess I want three, but I actually want more than that. Uh, functions and variables for lists. Can I functions and variables? <whistles> nice for list. So for okay, <laughs> a little bit frustrating. Uh, maybe I can set the number of lines to be smaller or something. Oh, there isn't one for lists. I guess we should call them arrays. Uh, no. 
Okay, so we might need a little bit of work on that. Um, so simple linear regression. Let's try that. Uh, linear regression of deaths. That did not do what I want. But let's see what linear regression does. Nope, not what I meant. Jesus Christ. Um, I guess the next question is, is maxima worth... Okay. Load stats, X matrix... Come on, guys, you gotta do better than this. So, linear. I thought there was one that was called simple. Uh, was it linear regression simple? No, it's gotta be regression. Oh, what does regression do? may have to move some of this uh, documentation and look at it on the web, but I think we have a good start here. Um, so let's go ahead and also define log deaths as... I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work, though. So let's see what this does. Yeah, that's... Is there an apply function? Um, I mean, it's actually a map function. Let's see. Let's just use the correct terminology here. Um, okay, so I should be able to do... <laughs> That's really nice, actually. Now, how do I get the numerical approximate? I mean, I realize I can't do this because there's negative... Uh, there's log of zero, which is negative infinity. Um, but hey, can we do this? Points of this, it's going to whine at me because some of these points are zero, but still. Um, no, so it won't let me actually do that. Um, this looks like pretty good shit here. This is might be worth learning. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we need to. I need to learn some terminology here, but that may not be fatal. Uh, for example, I need to know how to take the last n elements or to select the elements that aren't uh, that are well defined. Um, but for right now. I'm going to create something called NZ deaths, which are non zero deaths. And we will start over here. And that sounds like I'm saying New Zealand deaths, but it means non zero deaths. Let's make sure that. I mean, now I'm pretty content this is going to work. Um, so it's map log. Oh, no, no, log function onto NZ deaths. Okay. And then I can create these points of map. These suckers probably doesn't help anything though. Um, and then this is the uh, this is the this is the magic. Wait, wait a minute. That should not have happened. The value log as well. Yes, it is. Log of one is very definitely uh, something. Or did I mean log base ten of one? Hmm. Okay. Doing something still a little bit wrong, but I'm not too worried. Uh, oh, shit. No. I am worried. This should be... This is not like Mathematica. This is... Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. Now, the bad thing here is on the right... On the This is not being... Um, oh, actually, no. Never mind. Um, okay. So this is showing that... And if I really wanted to be clever... 
do log 10. Um, unless log 10 is not well defined or something. Um, a little bit of an outlier there. Looks pretty good. And now let's see if I can just do this. I've got too many of those, yeah. Uh, and then if I can do something like um, x log equals true. Log x equals true? That's really, whoa, wait, wait, wait. That's again log y equals true. That's not fucking bad. I mean that, there you have sort of a work of art. So I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about that. Uh, now in theory, I should be able to do this with death, and I'm just going to hope that it ignores. God damn it. Okay. Did I have a GNU plot up or something? I do. Okay. Let's just do this now. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's the problem. We can't, we cannot have, um, wow. Okay, wait. Let's see what happens if we have deaths. Can I say deaths plus one? Oh yeah. Now this has like this is pointless, but um, the nice thing is we can now actually get. I mean, it's not going to be correct, but um, we can now get it to actually um, graph without having to worry about the well, pretending that zero is one and everything else goes up by one, which is not a huge deal. Okay, so this is, uh, this is, you can make a convincing case that this is exponent, ah, don't do that. That this is exponential here, because this is a, very close to a linear growth. Although you can see that it's sort of tapering off here. Um, so is maximum worth learning is a question I'm going to ask Google. And by the way, also, I'm going to try to close off as many of these goddamn, um, tabs that we have too many of. Yeah, 32 tabs. There we go. Um, okay. Clearly have different kind of maxima. Is maxima programming language, which is technically what it is. Um... I guess the other way to look at it is how recently has Maxima been updated? I mean, the documentation was 2005, but... Um, well, this is not super recent. Well, okay. Introduction, general Maxima. Okay, so this is, this is fairly recent. Eighth generation Maxima. Which I guess is... I don't know what the hell that means. Maybe version... Looking to buy a Maxima. That sounds weird for something that's supposed to be free. Um, wait. No. You bastards. This is the wrong kind of Maxima. People should not build cars that are named... Okay, here we go. Um, all right, so what is this? This is official website of SourceForge. Um, um, so this is Maxima. I am familiar with this one, by the way. Um, Okay, so this appears to be uh, really old. That doesn't mean it's bad. And this might be a page that's worth saving. Actually, this is definitely a page that's worth saving. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, uh, 
Okay, and we will definitely look. I, I definitely want uh, Remoray. Okay, this is definitely worth looking at here. Um, assignment operator. This is nice stuff. Now this is good stuff. Um, a little bit different. It's colon. It's not. Um, it's not set equal to or even equal to. Um. Evaluates his left-hand side as well, which I guess I don't get. Okay, it is Pomodoro time. Uh, I'm fairly happy with how this has ended, that it looks like we've discovered or rediscovered uh, Maxima, and I've rediscovered Maxima, the old one. Um, and it looks like it might have enough power to do what we want without being closed source. It's not only open source, but it's free and it's open source. So I am going to call the stream now. I'm much happier with this one than I was with the previous one, the sucky one. I mean, they all suck, but it sucks at a different level. Okay, thank you for watching. It has been 1 hour 41 minutes. So combined, sucky stream number one, sucky stream number two, almost two hours worth of crap. Thank you for watching, and good night.